After the Ukraine war, the US along with its Western allies imposed heavy sanctions on Russia, predicting that Russia could not bear the blow of Western wrath and would cede. But many months have passed, and the Russian economy not only successfully restrained but also has become one of the fastest growing economies in the world. But why Russia was able to sustain, and why Iranian economy could not stand against the Western sanctions? Well, we all know that Russia was once a communist country, and the economy of communist countries is mostly closed to other countries. Means, the trade and flow of money are restricted in many ways. That kind of Russian nature in the past made the country self-reliant. For that reason, Russia built its own defense production units and started developing its own Russian-made military weapons. Unlike other countries, which heavily relied on the Western weapons and defense system, the same nature somewhat survived after the disintegration of the USSR. Still Russia is one of the biggest exporters of military weapons and equipments. But that is not the advantage to Iran. Iran is dependent on defense technology that has to be imported from its strategic partners such as Russia. Therefore, the reliance on alien technologies always kept Iran dependent on others. Now, both Iran and Russia are blessed with massive hydrocarbon reserves, but why could Iran's oil and gas not overcome its economic miseries? And why could Russia catch the opportunity to utilize its hydrocarbon not only for the strategic purposes but also to strengthen its ruble? There are two main factors behind. First, the geographical one. As Iran is located in the Middle Eastern region, where many countries are competing to change their oil and gas into petrodollars. For example, Saudi, Qatar, Iraq, and along with other Central Asian countries like Turkmenistan. Therefore, countries who import like China, Japan, Pakistan, and India have enough alternatives of hydrocarbon suppliers to meet their domestic demand. But the geographical significance of Russia tilts the whole game in favor of Russia. Russia is one of the nearest gas suppliers to Europe. Nord Stream gas pipeline from Russia to Europe caters around more than 100 billion meter cubic of gas per year, which made France, UK, Italy, Spain, and Germany heavily dependent on Russian gas. And due to paucity of any viable gas pipeline project, European dependence on Russian gas is quite high. For example, Algeria and Turkmenistan are good alternatives to Russian gas, but there is not enough pipeline infrastructure that could supply the demanded gas to Europe. On the other hand, the US also can't be a panacea in the gas shortage problem because of the Atlantic region between two continents. Another advantage is that Russia has veto power in the United Nations Security Council. The sanctions on Iran and Russia are quite different. For example, Russia has only been sanctioned by the US and some other Western countries, while the trade with other nations is being done greatly. For example, Russia trade is going well with world largest GDPs such as India and China. Moreover, the freezing of assets by the US has actually backfired, because Russia got a chance to strengthen its own currency by doing trade in ruble. But why could Russia do so? As already has been told that Russia has the veto power. When the resolution was forward to sanction Russia by the United Nation, Russia vetoed it. But in the case of Iran, neither of the countries protected Iran from sanctions. And when the UN sanctions any country that means nearly the whole world must do so. This is why the Iranian economy felt miserable when it was sanctioned.